Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in all new V Rising. This is a super interesting game dropped out recently and watch this video till the end for better performance. And with all that said, let's get started. All right, step number one is the essential window settings. And for that, open up settings on your PC. And once you're here, go all the way down to gaming, open up game bar and turn this thing off. Game bar turned off will give you better FPS and better performance each time you load up your game. After that, go back to gaming, open up game mode and turn this thing on. I have counted this multiple times. Game mode turned on will always give you better FPS. Right beneath that, you'll find graphic settings. Simply open it up, click on change default graphic settings. And right over here, you'll find hardware extra to GP scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games. Simply enable both of these settings since it will help you to utilize your GPU for gaming as well as reduce your input latency. After that, go back to graphics and then click on the browse button and add V Rising in this list. Simply go to the install location of your game, open it up and add vrising.exe in this list. If it is already added, simply locate the application and then go over to options and then click on high performance and then click on save. Once that is done, search for storage sense on your PC. And once you're over here, scroll down and find storage sense. Simply enable it. And once you're here, make sure to click on keep windows running smoothly by automatically cleaning up temporary system and app files. And then automatic user content cleanup, turn this thing on. Run storage since every day, delete file in my recycle bins for 14 days and in the download folder, never. Once that is done, click on the run storage sense now and let it do the job. Step number two is de-animating your windows. And for that, simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows on your PC. Then click on adjust for best performance. And over here, click on show taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, as well as smooth edges of screen fonts. It will help you to reduce the animations in the windows and it will make it look minimal and reduce the CPU usage due to these animations, ultimately giving you better FPS. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors, which is legit, reliable, and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin, as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for 53.78 but on this sale you can get it for 21.75 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25% off at just 16.31. And you also have Windows 11 update for free. And it is perfect time to get rid of that Windows activation mark. There are multi-bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Next step is setting up virtual memory which is right under the advanced settings in the performance options itself. Click on the virtual memory, click on change and then deselect automatic manage paging file size and then for the custom size, set this thing to 1361 and for the maximum size, set this thing to half of your total physical memory and for that search for system information on your PC and once it opens up installed physical memory you'll find it right over here it is 32 GB for me it could be different for you so open up your calculator multiply your installed physical memory with 1024 and it will give you your memory in megabytes simply divide this value by 2 and the value that you get over here is what you have to paste in the maximum size once that is done simply click on set click on ok and this is how you optimally set your virtual memory for gaming next step is local group policy editor and this is super important search for local group policy editor and this will only work for people with windows 10 or 11 pro so if you're a home user you can skip this step once you're here go to administrative templates then click on windows components app privacy and right over here you'll find let windows apps run in the background simply open this thing up and make sure that this is set to enabled and default for all applications is set to force deny this will enable this policy and it will force deny all of the applications running in the background once that is done close your local group policy editor 
Now let's move to the next step that is disabling unwanted services. And for that, press Windows and R key together and then type in msconfig. Once this dialog box open up in front of you, go over to the services section, click on hide all Microsoft services, and then deselect all unwanted services such as update service, browser update service, RGB and fan control service, printer services if you do not use it. And disabling these services will help you to ensure less number of processes are running in the background so you'll get better performance in the games. Once that is done, simply click on OK. Make sure to be aware of which services you're disabling because it can be used useful such as VGC which is required to play Valorant. Next step is creating a restore point and this is super simple. Search for create a restore point on your PC and once you're here select your local disk C, click on create and name it V-Rising just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once that is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is the V Rising FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can simply download it from there or you can join my Discord server to download it. Over here, I have left in four simple folders. First one is a CPU priority and in here you'll find AMD and Intel CPU priority. Now, if you have an AMD CPU like me, you can double click and run the AMD CPU priority. However, if you have an Intel CPU, you can run the Intel CPU priority. This will help you to prioritize your CPU perfect. Second folder is the V Rising optimization in which I have left a V Rising high priority. You can simply double click to run this as well and it will set the game priority to a higher level. Next is the RAM optimization in which I have left a lot of presets according to your memory. Once again, I have 32 GB RAM, so I need to use 32 GB RAM registry. It could be different for you, so you can pick one from this list. However, if you don't like it, you can always reset it back to default. Last is the unwanted services and this is completely optional. To get maximum FPS possible, I highly recommend you guys to disable all of these unwanted services on your PC, which will ultimately help you to gain extra FPS. FPS. Once again, if you want to revert any of them back to normal, you can always do this from the revert registry folder. Once the FPS pack is done, you can simply close it and drop into the game for the best in game settings possible. Okay, so once you are in your game, press your escape key and then go over to options. Once you are here, go down to general settings and then click on skip intro cinematics. Then go over to graphics. For the screen resolution, go with the native resolution and the full screen mode should be exclusive full screen. Right after that, ambient occlusion, make it low, bloom, make it medium, shadow, make it low, volumetric quality, low, texture quality, medium, visual effects quality, medium. Next for the anti-aliasing, go with TAA, AMD, FSR, make it quality, limit FPS in menus, go with 60 FPS, limit FPS in the game, no set limit. For motion blur, turn this thing off. Depth of field, you can turn this thing on, but if it is causing FPS issues, you can turn this thing off as well. Contact shadows, turn this thing on. High quality atmosphere, turn this thing off. Blood effects enabled, turn this thing on. Rim light on. Screen shake, reduce it to somewhere around 35. So your shake is minimal. Cloth quality, go with medium. Cloth update rate, go with medium. Now, your quality preset should be set to custom. Next is the sound settings. I have set the master quality to zero until I speak. Other than that, select your audio output settings in the sound card. Once everything is done, click on back and now you can play this game with the best FPS possible. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button. It really helps me out. Also, if you're not a part of channel membership yet, get the membership and become a part. It really helps me out as well. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Barry Fox and peace out.